Good morning. I uh, thought I would uh, come out and practice <clears throat> this throw today. This helps you lining up. Some people stand in the middle and throw at targets. Target over here, target over there. I don't do that. And I wish I could, but I can't. I'm more of a set and throw. Some people are rhythm throwers, where they just get in a rhythm and throw. I'm a set thrower. <clears throat> so this is one of my favorite throws in the Mountain Man events. This is called tic-tac-toe and I've got one or two other videos on this but I like to do this <clears throat> as I say I practice every morning I try to mix it up there's a lot to practice in Mountain Man there's, there's they can throw anything at you uh, so <clears throat> the object of course is tic-tac-toe whichever direction you want to go to what I failed to mention in some of my other videos is that you can keep going Everything is points, and if you tic-tac-toe once, you get to keep going. And you can tic-tac-toe till you miss, and that can be a bucket full of points. So, I haven't really warmed up this morning. Uh, it's 32 degrees out here. The leather is real slick. Uh, when it gets hot, it gets sticky. And so, hey, it's just part of the game. You just got to learn how to adapt to a lot of different things. So, this is a good practice for <clears throat> setting and throwing. Not rhythm throwing, but setting and throwing. You throw one knife, and you also do it with your tomahawk. Let me see if I can't do it a couple of times for you. Like I say, I like to get set. I also throw the knife upside down with a false edge where it could come in contact with a rubber band and possibly it won't uh, cut it. Another thing you want to be careful of is if you stick close to the rubber band and you pull the knife out, you can cut the rubber band and they won't put another rubber band up there. So you sit down. That's why I throw upside down. sticking straight up and down or not I try to get as close to that target as I can and try to tomahawk it in there This is just for demonstration purposes. Give you an idea of what to do here. I'm doing a terrible job of it. But it'll give you an idea of what to do. See what I mean about the false edge? If that had been sharp edge down, I would have been out. But because it didn't cut it, I'm still going. And practice it. Even if you miss, put you another rubber band up there and keep going. Making videos is hard. You got to focus on what you're going to say. So I'm just going to get some squares.